The Jets took Iowa State edge rusher Will McDonald with the 15th pick in 2023. He was 34th on the consensus board, so most people viewed that as a reach. The Jets didn't really have a needed edge rusher, and McDonald ended up having the second lowest snap count of any first round rookie with just 183 snaps played, and he was second to Anthony Richardson, who was only healthy for four games. So on paper, I think most people are going to view this as a pick that's looking like it's going to be a bust, and I didn't have super high expectations going into his tape. I wasn't really planning to do a video on him, but watching these first round rookies, specifically the edge rushers, after Will Anderson, I actually thought Will McDonald was the most effective pass rusher of this first round class by a comfortable margin. As far as having confidence in a player's future, it's obviously not ideal if they can't see the field that often as a rookie, but for Will McDonald, it's understandable that he had a hard time seeing the field given what the Jets had at edge rusher last year, and I think he showed enough on limited snaps that you should at least feel optimistic about his upside. So he had 183 snaps last year, 99 of those were pass rushing snaps, and he was able to get four sacks and 12 pressures. This is an incredibly small sample size. I almost feel guilty for showing this graphic, but I'm going to do it anyway. But this table shows pass rush win rate for rookie edge rushers this past season, and Will McDonald ranked third with a 16.0% pass rush win rate. The point here is not to say that he's going to necessarily be better or worse than any of the other players listed, but just for a frame of reference, you can see that when he was on the field, he was productive and effective. Will McDonald's pass rushing plan is based on an explosive first step, speed around the edge, and bend to turn the corner at the top of the rush. He had a 36 inch vertical, 132 in the broad jump. He ran a 6.85 three cone and a 4.7 in the 40 yard dash. But with those elite athletic traits, he has almost 35 inch arms, which gives him a real advantage when it comes to winning the hand fight. And whenever he was on the field, he was able to win with speed around the outside. This first rep against the Dolphins he does a great job of selling speed to power initially. A few steps into the rush, he attacks the blocker's space and centers his path right down the middle. That draws the outside hand strike from Austin Jackson, and then Will McDonald just hooks underneath that arm extension and starts to bend around the corner. The tackle does a decent job of recovering, but McDonald's bend is just relentless. He's able to continuously apply pressure to the pocket. At a certain point, the tackle just runs out of range, and McDonald is too low to the ground. He's able to dip underneath the outside shoulder and get a sack on Tua. Another nice rep here against Deion Dawkins. You see the exact same strategy. His first couple steps, he's establishing ground upfield to threaten the outside. The third step with the inside foot is directly at Deion Dawkins, so he thinks he's going speed to power. He loads up to punch with the outside hand, kind of stops his feet. At that point, Will McDonald rips underneath that arm and has a free runway to Josh Allen. This play is lined up on the right side. His initial steps are more hesitation to try to freeze the blocker, but once he throws his punch, again, McDonald hooks underneath the outside arm and gets a hit on the quarterback. And obviously he didn't have a ton of opportunities with his snap count, but even within those snaps, you know, some of them, the quarterback's getting rid of the ball really quickly. Some of them, he's getting chip help. As far as actual opportunities to pressure the quarterback, there weren't that many, but you see consistently his speed is a true threat to most offensive tackles. And then his main counter off of that speed rip is the inside spin, which he had a ton of success with at Iowa State. I remember he won with it a couple times in the preseason the regular season, he only had a few opportunities to really use it. This play against the Chargers, he's got a wide open B gap. The right tackle is a little bit high with this inside hand punch. So that gives McDonald the opportunity to hook inside, pin his arm back. And you can see how fluid he is transitioning into this move and accelerating into the pocket. So I think with the speed rush to inside spin pass rushing plan, Will McDonald can be a number three designated pass rusher that can be really productive in a part-time role, kind of similar to Bryce Hunt. Tough. To reach his full potential as a pass rusher, I think he's got to diversify his move set and add more ways of winning. When it comes to outside rush moves, really all he has is the speed rip, and he's kind of just spamming that over and over again. More skilled tackles are able to counter that with a two-hand punch. Uh, Laramie Tunzel, Jake Matthews, they knew to expect the speed rip, and they didn't have too many issues blocking it. So he would definitely benefit from adding a cross chop, double swipe, some other method to defeat the outside hand and keep tackles guessing. But you you also want him to improve his bull rush, which dating back to college has been pretty ineffective. A player with his length and explosiveness can establish first contact consistently when he goes speed to power. If he can add some weight and improve his play strength, I think his speed to power actually has a lot of potential, but he didn't really use it that often in the snaps he played this past season, and when he did, he didn't have much success. The other thing to mention with his pass rushing is that he consistently forces fumbles, which in a lot of cases is not that stable from year to year. 
but he has 12 forced fumbles over the past six years. He got a strip sack on Justin Herbert that Herbert ended up recovering. So that's another way that he's shown he can consistently add value. And then the main thing that will determine if he can earn a full-time role is adding play strength and improving as a run defender. He made some plays in the backfield. He's explosive off the line of scrimmage. He can shoot gaps. When he outruns a block or gets the edge and kind of rips around the corner, he is someone that can have an impact in the run game. But holding up at the point of attack will be a question for him. It didn't show up too many times in his rookie season. There was this one play where he got pancaked by Deion Dawkins. But at 239 pounds coming out of Iowa State, I assume that was one of the main reasons that he didn't see the field that much as a rookie. So just a quick video because there aren't that many snaps to break down. But I did want to make a video just to say that I am still optimistic about Will McDonald. It's understandable that he didn't get that much playing time with the depth that the Jets had and the fact that he still needs to add weight and add play strength. They still have a deep edge rotation, so I wouldn't necessarily expect Will McDonald to be a full-time starter, but I definitely think he can be productive, at least as a pass rusher in his second year.